Guys, welcome to another episode of Just Cook. Uh, as always, get yourself some wine. Uh, today we're going to do a fish. I'm going to do a cod. Uh, cod is a white fish. It's a, it's, a, it's a thick white fish that's really good at taking heat. Um, I'm going to do it on the pan with, uh, with some butter and some, some herbs. Uh, it's one of those meals. It's a quick meal, uh, depending on how you feel. Um, I, I love it for the simplicity. Uh, but it packs a punch. All right, so we're gonna pan it one side. Hey guys, stay with me. This is gonna be a good one. And as always, I am listening to your comments. The full recipe is gonna be in the comment section of the YouTube. So if you go to the comment section, you're gonna see the full step by step recipe. All right. All right, folks. So for this dish, I got my uh, my cod filling here. You wanna make sure this is absolutely dry uh it's gonna go it's gonna go on high heat absolutely dry we don't want it sticking uh, if you can see it's uh it's thick it's about about an inch and a half thick you want it that thick for the method i'm gonna use to cooking it it's a beautiful fish it's a white fish hey it's really good at taking heat um if you're gonna do like uh, fish and chips or something that you're gonna do high heat and cod is your go-to on that kind of operation. So, first things first, do that. Next thing, as soon as it's nice and dry, we're gonna salt it. And we're gonna pepper it. Uh, salting is a good thing at this point. Salt extracts moisture. So if you're trying to get this really, really dry, it's a good thing to salt it beforehand. Let it sit for like an hour with the salt on there. What it does, it just extracts the moisture. And we want this guy Dry. Now, like I say, this dish is simple, simplistic, salt and pepper on that. That's it. Alright, so for this dish, I got a little, uh, I got baby Swiss chard. I'll show you what we're going to do with that later. Uh, fresh herbs, I got a, a, a sprig of fennel and a sprig of dill, uh, which coincidentally I have in my back yet, which is fine. One day I'll show you my little growing pot. And butter. That's it. So yeah, go ahead and get a heavy knife or a pot, whatever. We're just gonna smash the garlic. You don't want it chopped, just smash it, leave it as it is. Uh, for the herbs, we're gonna do the same thing, just roughly, costly, just chop them. There we go. Leave that. The Swiss chard, I'm gonna leave them like that. Butter, you're gonna see the process. Stay with me. Okay, folks, so for this dish, uh, I'm using a stainless steel pan. Conventional wisdom would tell you to use a non stick. I want to stick with this. Why? This gives the fish a good sear. All right. Get an oil that has a very high smoke point. I'm using avocado oil. I am going to put two tablespoons. That is two tablespoons. All right, we're gonna bring these guys up to high heat. I want this smoking. I want it to sear my fish. All right, stay with me, guys. All right, folks, I got my avocado oil just beginning to smoke. I don't know if you can see this, but you want this screaming hot. Just beginning to smoke. And that's when the fish is going to go in. Don't disturb it. Let that sit. This is going to cook for about five minutes. We are not going to flip this. We're just going to let this cook. And I'll show you what we do with the condiment. Hang in there. Let that guy go. All right. Four and a half minutes later, get yourself one and a half tablespoons of butter. Put it back. This is interesting. There we go. See what that? We're going to cook the top with the butter. Just like that. Just spoon that. Pour it for a second. Now that garlic. Put that garlic in there. Let that garlic cook. Alright, a 
And the garlic cook is going to infuse some really good flavors in the butter. What we're doing is we're cooking the top part. And there we go. This, this is intensive right now. Get the garlic in there. Let it cook. I got some rice with turmeric. I will grab my fish. Once it cooperates, and just lay it on there. Oh, look at that. Remember the hobs? Put your hobs in there. Swiss chard. Let that go. I'm gonna cook that. I'm gonna whisk that in the bottom. It's not gonna take long. I'm gonna splatter. Come on, there we go. That's gonna cook. This is still on high heat. Reduces a gap. Beautiful Swiss chard flowing. This has been less than 30 seconds as you've been on. The video with me. See that? That's it. Move that on there. There's my dish. Lay it on there. With a little bit of garlic. Turn your heat off. Boom. Folks. There's my fish. Enjoy.